Last week, U.S. Customs and Border Protection announced that nearly 40 ports of entry into Canada will be shortening their hours, including some in Vermont and northern New York. Now local EMS crews are sharing their concerns about responding to emergencies near the border. NBC 5's Benny Nazai joins us now from our Plattsburgh studio with the issue. Benny? That's right, Brian and Liz. Chattagay's port of entry into Canada is one of the nearly dozens of border crossings in our region that will have reduced hours come the new year. And officials from the community's volunteer fire company are worried that EMS crews from Quebec won't be able to assist them as often going forward. It's a very uh, unfortunate thing that they, they want to do for as far as the fire and EMS. Um, uh, organizations. Ron Chase is the assistant chief for the Chattagay Fire Company. Starting January 6, his community's port of entry into Canada will only be open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. instead of 24 hours. CPB says officers will be deployed to busier ports of entry, allowing the agency to use its resources most effectively. But Chase is worried that his crew won't get as much help from the fellow fire departments across the border. We rely on them um, and they rely on us. And uh, time is the essence and um, lives are at danger, I mean, at any moment, so it could uh, be very impactful. The fire company received assistance from the Hinchinbrook Fire Department last week in a structure fire on State Route 374. They also normally get help from the fire departments in Huntington and Franklin, Quebec. State lawmakers have been critical about these changes, with State Senator Dan Steck saying in part that if a community along the border is in need of assistance, a close crossing would lead to lengthy detours for crews and become a matter of life and death. And Democratic Assembly member and Chattagay native Billy Jones says in part that the ports of entry affected will lead to delays for commerce coming into the North Country, causing a huge inconvenience for local businesses and residents. And Chase says our elected officials in the region need to properly address this issue as soon as possible. I'm hoping our local politicians uh, get together with, uh, you know, whoever they need to and, and do the right thing and figure out something where the, the border doesn't close as far as far an EMS goes. And Chattagay's mayor tells us that officials from both Clinton and Franklin counties will be meeting in the coming weeks to talk about this situation. We're live in the Plattsburgh studio tonight. Benny Nazai, NBC5 News.